Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have episode 4 of Endor. Uh, Endor? <laughs> nope, it's not episode 4 of Endor, it's episode 4 of Andor. Okay, right. <laughs> Look, I literally got out of- it, it's- it's currently 4.30pm and I got out of bed like an hour ago, so please. Just- uh, I'm so tired. Anyway, I'm really excited. Um, the last couple of episodes have been very good. It's had a very positive, um, sort of view on- review on Twitter and stuff as well from what I've seen. Not as bad as I expected it to be. Um, like the- the reception for it. Um, so that's that's pretty good at least. I've seen a couple of complaints, but it's not as bad as I expected. So um that's pretty good. I'm enjoying it so far and I'm excited to get more into it um and see where this goes. So let's get into it. Calculation complete. Oh, I have missed hyperspace so much. What's following here? I imagine your hate. I imagine that no matter what you tell me or tell yourself. You'll have to meet to die fighting me first. But he is such a good character and good actor for this. He fits this role fucking perfectly. Would you rather do it all at once? Coruscant! Oh my god! Ma'am? Oh my god. ISB, baby! Tell us when. Tell us when! I'll expect specific by the end of the day. Regret. God, I'm not even in the room and I feel intimidated already. Uh, positive development, sir. The best. Elaborate on these edits. We take your request. Why is she being so suspicious? She knows something. Proactive measures, sir. There's an increase in construction shipments going to Scarif, sir. A scar, if you say, huh? God, I love planet name drops. <laughs> Is it Dedra? She's gonna hate this idea for start. No. She's gonna argue with me. I was gonna say maybe she's like uh, a spy. <gasps> Is that a Kyber crystal? Oh, blue guy, it is. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Can I can I want a necklace? Can you make a necklace of that, please? I want it. Once again, ma'am. Was he debating stealing the ship? <laughs> the droid was like, I'm watching you. Oh, I see the ISB. Oh, God, the uniforms. Oh, God. Ah! Oh! You will leave here and be escorted with haste to the transfer center. Involvement and culpability in said Ferrix incident. Question, sir. No. Yeah. No, you will not. Hey, question. No. Imperial time. Get yeah, shut down. But I've had nothing to do with this. Shut up. Dude, his facial expressions are incredible. I love when Star Wars characters wear ponchos. That's about all I know. I cannot. Oh, TIE Fighters! Get down, fucking! Oh! They won't be back today. Oh! Come on. Is he about to, like, fully transform himself? Like, unrecognizable? You know, with that kind of closet, you'd be besties with Lando. I promise you that. What is this place? For the second time today. Oh, I'll take it to Major Cosmos. Damn, she Let's is. I oh. We do love a strong Imperial woman. I mean, I do at least. You ride with Mossy, Garbage, Saul Guerrero, all the sleep on watch. They're gonna put your head on a pike for a laugh. Sorry. True, because Saul Guerrero would do that. Oh my goodness, they look like demon sheep. That's so intimidating. 
Like walking into this new area with everybody staring at you. He's honestly the most interesting and intriguing character of this whole show so far. Like, I know obviously this is Cassian's show, but like, I want to follow this guy more. I want to know what's going on in that little head of his. But he walks so slowly. Oh my god. He's just so done. So this is like a terrifying apartment block. If that's what it's meant to be, it's terrifying. <laughs> Dude, it's so nice to be on Coruscant. Oh, Mon Mothma. Yeah, as I was saying, it's so nice to see Coruscant and not be surrounded with sand upon sand upon sand. Oh my god, there's probably so much to unpack from here. That Mandalorian armor, is that Beskar? And trying to hide, like, from the Empire is fucking terrifying. Ooh! I love the noise of those bikes. Is this our seventh person? He's gonna be like, what the fuck's going on here? Who this bitch? I like his kip. The kip's cool. Everybody should wear kips. Ooh, this is very fancy. I do also absolutely adore her outfit. I already don't like this guy. How dare he? Perhaps you should have a rest. How fucking dare he? Nah. -uh. Everything be boring and sad. Oh, shut up, dickhead. I don't like him already. I feel like at this point we shouldn't get too attached to any of these characters other than Cassian. Because I feel like not all of them are going to make it out of this. They're all going to like sacrifice themselves for like Cassian to get away because they know he's like better. This guy's a nerd. I love him. I want to be friends with this guy. No, I just said I can't get attached to people. Stop. The size of her portfolio. She should spend more time on the security at her bases and less furthering her career. But he's so like demeaning and so just talking down, as if it gives him some kind of height. I mean, by the time she gets to alert him, it's going to be too lit. And they're going to be like, oh shit, should have believed her. I'm getting the vibes that she's going to turn against the Empire. 100%. I feel like she's just going to be a female callous. And I'm here for it. Why is everyone looking at him? And no sleep for you, Cassian. I mean, at least they let him eat first. I expected her to be like, nope. <laughs> Start studying. Oh man, I feel like the next episode is going to be intense. Like, intense, intense. Oh man, well, that was a good episode. Um, There's quite a lot to kind of unpack from it. I feel like a lot happened. Um, So, of course, like... The ISB. Oh my goodness. The the security bureau. Oh my goodness. I fucking... Please. Please. This could possibly be Callus. Look, I'm just holding out all hope. I just want Callus to show up somewhere. And if we get a live action Callus, I am never going to be the same person ever again. Um, I don't think you realize how much... Oh, I love ISBs. I love... I love them. Um... So now that we have like the ISB unit, and this is kind of like around the same kind of time zone, I think, as Rebels. So it's actually kind of very possible that he could show up. But that place is intimidating as fuck. Like, it's scary. It is so, like, dull. It's bright, but it's dull, if that makes sense. Like, it's... 
I, I, like I said earlier, I felt intimidated just, like, just looking at it. Like, I felt like I was there, and, like, the Imperial officers are terrifying. Um, but it was good to see Coruscant again, and seeing, like, the, uh, the sort of, you know, when it was, like, showing the planet from above, that was absolutely beautiful. That was one of the most stunning things I've seen. I love when Star Wars does that. I love, like, showing the planet and then having the name of the planet. It's just... Chef's kiss. Uh, I'm excited to see how this sort of plan of action goes. Uh, I feel like it's gonna get really like into action. Um, I feel like Dedra is like I said. I I I think she, she kind of gives me callous vibes a little bit. I feel like she would give her all for everything, and then but then she kind of realizes that the other Imperials like they don't give a shit about her. They literally do not give a shit. And I feel like maybe she'll eventually come around. Either she'll sacrifice herself uh, to get out of it and to help someone. Or she'll just join the rebellion. Who the fuck knows? Um, but I'm very intrigued by her character. Uh, our, I, I still don't know his name. The intriguing guy. I should probably learn his name. Let me, right, let me find out his name before I just kill... Like, before I call him uh, not Lieutenant List. <laughs> okay, Cyril Karn. Okay. I love how his entire, like, input in the episode was his facial, his facial expressions, like, his emotions are incredible, the actor is amazing. Uh, but it was like, he comes in, you know, gets a little bit shouted at, goes home to his mother and just gets slapped in the face. Like, that was his input for this episode, and I fucking love that. I am so intrigued by him, and I want more. Um, but yeah, I think, I, yeah, I'm definitely interested, I think he is, he's great. I also kind of love the idea of, like, uh, Cassie in at one point mentioned, like, oh, yeah, it's just a suicide run. Uh, funny you say that. Um, well, uh, in the future, uh, you know, um, and I also loved his kyber crystal. Having that, having that kyber crystal in the necklace was absolutely beautiful. I love kyber crystals. I love seeing them. They made me so happy. Um. And there, I feel like I need to go back and rewatch the scene uh, with Mon Mothma because there was probably a lot of shit to unpack in that room. There was a lot of collectibles, a lot of things lying around. I'm very intrigued by like the cool armor that was like on the stand at the back. Like that looked really fucking cool. But of course, the first thing that caught my eye was the best guard that was on the table. And then there was like a helmet. Um, and there were some things in the background that I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm. I couldn't see them properly, so I'm gonna have to go back and digest it. I'm gonna have to like watch someone's video for it. If you guys spotted anything in that room, put it in the comments. Let me know what you found. Let me know what you could see. Uh, because I, I, yeah, I haven't. I have no idea. I'm gonna go back now and have a look and see if I can spot anything. Okay, yeah, literally the only thing so far that I have my eye on is the Beskar. Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to recognize anything else that's like here. Like, I don't know what the helmet is, what the dagger, like, the blades and stuff are. I don't know. Like, there's, like, arm cuffs. Wait, that... Hold up a second. Hold up a second. So, here... Looks kind of... it. It. I know it's not the same, but it looks very similar to Hera's, um, like, family thing that she had. Like, the, the family thing that Theron tried to steal. I don't know the name of it. But it's just the shape of it just reminded me of that. Um, I know it's not that, but it looks similar. I just want to know what that armor is. Like, that fucking armor in the back looks so fucking cool. I want to know what it is. Why is there spikes coming out of the helmet? Hold up a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 no. Get back here. Is that supposed to be the the thing from Rebels? The son, the daughter, and the... the... I don't know if that's what it's meant to be, but it's got the circles and it's got the hands. I, again, I don't know. I don't know the fucking names of things. I haven't watched it in a while. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's that's the hand signals. That's that's from oh my god. Oh my goodness. The rebels references, let's fucking go. Ah, I love like little references like that, like things that are in the background. Like I'm pretty sure there was some in Sulu. Um uh, as well. And I just I love seeing things like that in the background. Like Easter eggs and those kind of things don't have to be so upfront. Um, but just little things you see in the background. I love it. I love it so much. But yeah, if you guys spotted anything that I didn't spot or have any more information, let me know. I want to know. Tell me in the comments. Um, but yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you guys back next week for episode five. So, uh, peace and may the force be with you.